Hello, North Country, and welcome to Stafford Middle School in Plattsburgh for Peabody Summer Basketball. I'm Foxy Gagnon, along with Eric Gagnon on camera, and welcome to a great matchup between Naked Turtle Play It Again Sports, the undefeated team at 9-0. and oh, They're in the yellow jerseys. Team. Against Boyers Custom Builders, they're at a record of 4-5. and five. They've lost a couple of real close ball games, and we're about set for the start. They're in the orange jerseys. Erin Pratt looks like she's going to jump center against Charles Perry. Nope. Let's see. Yep, she's making her rounds. And Erin Pratt, number 11. Chris Boyer, number 5. Also starting Eric Dubé, Joe Misek, and Mike Edmondson. Missing Jeremy Dubé for the start of this ball game, and that would have been a big addition to the team to have him there. Perry didn't even bother to jump. That's a little unfair. And Boyers controls, and Pratt, oh, she missed the opening layup. Unbelievable. In yellow, it's Gavin Mazurik, Randy Bowden, Steve Fuller, Charles Perry, and Rafael Velasquez. Perry's jumper off the base of the rim, just underway. We play two 18-minute halves. Edmondson finds Pratt. Misek. Andy Gay and Tom Lacey are the officials for this one. This is the early game, so both rosters a little shy of players because of uh, such an early start. Some are still at work. Bowden with the shot and foul called on Aaron Pratt. That'll send Randy Bowden to the foul line. And the first point of the ball game. On our end. Edmondson guarded by Velasquez. Worked for the shot. Too hard off the glass. Perry controls. Perry's going to be tough to stop on the boards. And Missouri, three point range. It's in. Rattles the rim. The three pointer makes it 4 0. Eric Dubé, baseline jumper, the first two points for Boyers, and we are at four to two. Shot. Long shot. Missouri rebound and toss it into Fuller. He pulls it out. Works for the shot. Drop pass for Missouri. Knocked out of bounds. Fuller, three-point range. That one's off the line, and Edmondson with the ball. All the way, dishes for Dubé, blocked by Mazurak, better known as Mazurak. Two minutes into the ball game, 4-2 lead for Naked Turtle, played against sports. In the yellow. Boyer. Bowden thought about the jumper, dishes out for Fuller. He looks inside for Perry. Boyer's on him. Around the horn, Velasquez takes the jumper from the foul line, well off mark. And it'll be Boyer's custom builder's ball. They lost a tough one last week, the Peabody's. One or two point loss, and they've had a couple close losses on the season. It's a real strong team. Anything goes in this ball game. Boyer's getting back, four jerseys back to stop the fast break of playing against sports. Back 
battle for the rebound. Boyer dishes it to Edmondson. Off the floor to Misik. Pratt is down the floor. She posts up against Missouri. Boyer wanted to foul there, perhaps. Oh, nice fast break. And Velasquez back from an ankle injury. He's missed three weeks of ball due to an ankle injury. So that's his first points in about a month, and it's 6-2. to two. Naked Turtle played against sports. Bob Daly has entered the building. He heard a basketball game was on. He showed up as usual. Foul called. In fact, Bob Daly in attendance at his 300th basketball game tonight. 300th game of the season. Misek at the line. 14-23 remaining in the first half. 6-2 lead for Naked Turtle played against Sports. Boyers Custom Builders at the line. Boyer will send it in. Andy Gay, the official, hands it over. Dubé, three-point range, too hard. Perry rebound, Pratt was right there. Perry up the floor, but again, all the jerseys back for Boyers. Fuller's three-pointer works. And it's nine to two, Boyer. Cold shooting by Boyers. Nine to two lead and the ball for Naked Turtle play it against sports. Bowden lost the handle, foul called. Substitutions Ryan Lucy and Sarah Bushy into the game. Eric Dubé out and Aaron Pratt out for Boyers. Zurich's three-pointer doesn't work. Bushy gets it out for Boyer. He'll try another three. That doesn't work. And Fuller with the rebound. Lucy there caused some trouble. And Misa gets it to Edmondson. Pass intercepted by Bowden. They get it to Perry. Misa comes back. Perry missed the shot, but an easy rebound. And the putback. Five players in the book for Naked Turtle, and they lead 11 to two. Big rebound there, and the cold shooting continues for Boyers. Velasquez up the floor to Bowden, off his fingertips. We'll head to our right. It'll be Boyers Custom Builders ball. Players starting to trickle in for both teams. The early start, tough to get here in time. Edmondson, oh, nice find, but it's off Lucy's hand. Missouri looks, gets it inside to Perry, guarded by Edmondson. Now double team, Bushy shows up. Lucy with the rebound, Velasquez was there to knock it out of bounds. It'll be Boyer's ball. Lucy challenges, gets a shot off, but six foot seven Missouri was there. 12-24 remaining in the first half. Pratt quickly back into the game. Boyer comes out. Eleven to two. Eric Dubé with the two points for Boyers, and Sarah Bushy will try to do something about that. She's at the line for a couple. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Sarah. We are North Country Cable Network, and this particular game, along with Hometown Cable, I want to say to hello to all the viewers in the Northern Tier. So Bushy's second of two makes it a. An 11-3 score. 
Ball batted right here. Good hands by the Pratt family. Good hands to come up with that one. And around we go. About a dozen minutes remaining in the first half. Fuller to Mazurik. Nice move for the two. Definite height advantage for Play It Again Sports. They lead 13 to three. They have Perry, who's about 6'9", and Missouri, who's 6'7". Missouri, three-point range, gets it. 16 to three. And Missouri has eight points. Velasquez, nice dish to Perry. Perry now with four. And a huge lead, quick start by the undefeated Naked Turtle Play It Again sports team, showing why they're undefeated. And let's face it, Boyer's definitely missing the inside game of Jeremy Dubé tonight. Bushy baseline. Nice rebound, Edmondson. Edmondson hits it, it's 18 to five. Eric Dubé and Edmondson with two pointers and Bushy with the foul shot for Boyers. Misek comes up with it, gets it to Lucy. Boyers wants to move, three jerseys back for play it again. Bushy can't hit the outside shot and Bowden there to Fuller. This is the final week of the regular season, so the final spots, the seedings will be set for the playoffs. Bushy to Edmondson. Lucy. Boy, those baseline jumpers just aren't falling, and as hot as it is outside, 77 degrees at game time, it's Boyers feeling the chill. Come on, defense, come on. It'll be Boyers ball, substitutions. Substitution for Palladian in Sports, and we'll do our research. Little bounce pass, I guess you could say, off a player's head. Oh, nice one, and Perry completes it. 20 to five, 9.35 remaining. We're about midway through the first half. Fuller with a nice defense, Misik with the steal. Edmondson tried to get it back to Misik, I would have taken the shot. Edmondson take the shot there. Twenty to five lead for Naked Turtle. Oh, Boyers got Rob there. Velasquez with the ball. Lucy with the steal. Quickness there. Three on one. Oh, he might have shuffled the feet and then he threw it away. And we have a timeout. 8.37 remaining in the first half. It's Naked Turtle played against Sports 20, Boyers Custom Builders 5. Jeff Casey is the Naked Turtle played against Sports player who was the recent substitution. He wears safety across the back of his shirt. with a tough, tough task in front of them now. And Fuller hits that one. 
Fuller with five in the ball game. It's 22 to five. Pratt. Follow. Velasquez rebound. Takes it all the way, guarded by Lucy, but Velasquez puts in his third and fourth point of the game. It's 24 to five. Lucy gets it back out to Bushy. Move! Pass into Pratt, knocked away by Casey, batted around again, McCaslin has it to Lucy. Lucy guarded by Fuller, nice defense there. Boyer steps back for the three, too strong on that, and it's Casey with the rebound. Down the floor, intercepted by Lucy. Lucy, shots just won't fall. Terry all the way, makes the highlight tape and drew the foul. Terry now with eight, 26 to five. Eric and I are just back from the Goodwill Games. Let me tell you, we had fun there. We were for, at Madison Square Garden for the men's basketball finals. A lot of fun there at Madison Square Garden. First trip for both of us to the garden and a lot of excitement as USA defeated Australia for the gold medal. We saw a few jams there right in front of us. Bingo. Stop the ball, stop the ball! Four! Get him out, Dad! Yeah. <laughs> Missouri, three-point range. Guarded by Boyer. Works for the shot, takes it, drew the foul. Naked Turtle, Missouri has eight, Perry eight. Five for Fuller, four for Velasquez, and Bowden has a foul shot. Missouri at the foul line for two. Naked Turtle on a nine point run right now, and 10. Out there now for Boyers is Edmondson, Dubé, Pratt, Bushy, and McCaslin. 6.40 remaining first half. I'm Foxy Gagnon along with Eric Gagnon on camera bringing you Peabody Summer Basketball. Nice rejection there from Fuller. And still, you notice the big height advantage for the Naked Turtle team. Steal there almost. Oh, that was off Edmondson's shirt. Couldn't fool Lace on that one. And Naked Turtle play it again ball. Come on, Sarah. Missouri wants it. They're going to set up some. Oh, there's, I think they're setting up some fancy play here. Barry. Ooh, triple team, they get it to Casey for the basket. Everything working right for the men in yellow. Edmondson off the base of the rim. Pratt there, I wish you would have taken that one. Don't be afraid. Bushy for Edmondson. He looks, drives, shot won't fall. How many have they had that just rattled the rim and just won't drop? Pratt pops a three, but Perry with the block shot. Perry with the jam! Thirty-two to five is the score. And just too much offense for Naked Turtle play it again sports and a huge height advantage. Just tough to overcome, no question about it. Bowden inside from Missouri, guarded by Misik. Baseline jumper is in. 
Missouri with a dozen in the ball game, and it's 34 to five. 16 point run for the first place team. Edmondson steps back, Misek, Eric Dubé, and he hits the three. Dubé with five of the eight. It's 34 to eight. 450 remaining in the first half. Casey knocked away by McCaslin. Bowden there missed the shot, but Casey's long reach and muscled it in. Casey off the bench with four points. 430 remaining in the first half. Edmondson drives to the hoop, draws the foul, and it counts. And that's what has to happen is Boyer's Custom Builders. Somebody will step it up offensively. And it's 36 to 10 at the 423 mark of the first half. Side for another one. <laughs> Boyers works the perimeter. Misek, long three. Dubé, Edmondson all alone. Two pointer. Dubé the rebound. Works it. McCaslin rebound, won't fall. Casey comes up with it. Down the floor to Fuller. For Perry, missed that one, and Boyer there. And under basket. Yeah. Foul, and Dubé gets it. Casey with the foul, and Eric Dubé now with seven. Velasquez back in for Naked Turtle. 319 on the clock. Defense, 38-13, Bowden all the way in, tucks the ball and scores. His first field goal of the game. And we're at 40 to 13. Huge first half for the Naked Turtle team. Foul call. Casey called for the foul. It'll be Boyer Ball under their own basket. Edmondson to Misek. Missouri there. Inside to Edmondson. Turnaround jumper. Base of the rim. Velasquez rebound. Velasquez to Bowden. It'll be Boyer's ball. Andy Gay and Tom Lacey are the officials. Andy Gay played high school basketball in the area at Northeastern Clinton Central. Familiar face to the northern tier for sure. Lacey, of course, played his high school basketball at Plattsburgh High School. Perry, three-point range, Missouri, big rebound, and puts it in. Missouri and Perry leading the way for Naked Turtle. Oh, 
A minute and a half remaining. Perry now with 14. And it's 44 to 13. Edmondson guarded by Velasquez. McCaslin. Casey there. Across the floor to Edmondson. May six in the corner. Edmondson takes it to the hoop. And at the one minute mark. Naked Turtle with the ball. Blocked by Eric Dubé. Ryan Lucy replaces Eric Dubé. And Casey, he has half a dozen. Forty-five seconds remaining. First half. Nice hoop by Misek. 46-15, 25 seconds in. Naked Turtle played against sports. Decide to go for the final shot of the first half. 15 seconds. Casey holds the ball. Bowden holds the ball. 10 seconds. Spread offense by play it again. McCaslin with the good defense. McCaslin with the ball. Oh, foul called with a second remaining. Casey called for the trip. I think he's picked up three fouls in the first half. And with one second, McCaslin goes to the foul line. Boyer's two of four from the foul line in the first half. the pregame shoot. <laughs> he was one of the late arrivals. Hits that one. At the buzzer. Ooh, almost a surprise. Exciting bucket. 46 to 16 at halftime in the Peabody Summer Basketball League. It's Naked Turtle played against Sports 46 and Boyers Custom Builders 16. Second half set. New player on uh, arrival for the Boyers Custom Builders. Bowden takes it to the hoop for a quick two. New player, number 10, is Nick Tagliarino out of Plattsburgh High School and Plattsburgh State. Boyer hits the three. All right. Maybe he had a little sandwich at halftime, a little peanut butter and jelly with the crust and pops in the three and gets the rebound at the other end. Edmondson batted around and Missouri there. Velasquez rolls the rim. Taglarino with the rebound off the shoulder of Boyer. Things continue to go wrong for Boyer's custom builders. Talked with Eric Dubé at halftime for a minute and he said, well, it's that 30 point bulge in the first half. If it had been 20, we'd have them right where we wanted them, but 30 points, that's another story. He was a little concerned that it was 30 point difference. Tagliarino, short, what? Dubé hustled in off his hands and Velasquez there. Velasquez halfway in and comes out. Perry on the boards. 50 to 19. Terrible. 
Eric Gagnon on camera. I'm Foxy Gagnon. We're North Country Cable Network. Happy to bring you Peabody Summer Basketball series of games. We hope you'll watch for our schedule in the sports shorts column of the Press Republican. We want to thank the Press Republican sports staff, Bob Getz, editor, and all the fellows at the Press Republican, John Goyer, Steve Ouellette, and I must be leaving out one of the guys. I knew I was going to do that as soon as you start to name people. Perry, three-point range inside to Missouri, guarded by Misik, then Taglarino, Perry. They'll let him have the three-pointer, but Fuller there to put it in. Fuller now with seven. Edmondson, spin move, battles for it, foul call. So Edmondson will go to the line for a couple. Jim goes silent on these foul shots. All 300 fans quiet right down. Edmondson hits that one. 52 to 20. Three on two, three on two, and Edmondson delivers. Watch along. 52-22. Tagliarino there for Boyers. Up the floor to Eric Dubé. Tagliarino. Fouled by Perry. Got Perry to get off his feet and drew the foul. Two shots for Tagliarino. Don't sweat it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I'm reading this book, Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. And it's all small stuff, so. I'm really learning to not let little things <laughs> aggravate me. 52-23, which really paid off when you go to New York City for the weekend. I had the book in tow when you deal with some of the cab drivers in uh, New York City. Got in a cab at our hotel. We wanted to on, cab ride to Madison Square Garden. And the guy would refuse to bring us. Who ever heard of that? Trip wasn't far enough, I guess he felt. Too much traffic, didn't want to bother. But since I'd read the book, Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, I didn't even lose my temper much. Taglarino on the inside. 52-25. It sounds a little funny to say they've cut the lead to 27, but they have. Dubé, oh, foul called. Missouri called for the foul. He got a lot of ball there, but fouled Dubé, and Eric Dubé will go to the foul line for a couple. He's one for one from the line tonight. 13.47 remaining. A mountain to climb for Boyer's custom builders, but they've outplayed. Naked Turtle in the second half. Nine to six, Boyers over played in sports in the second half. Hits that one. Whenever he says off, those are the two he's hit. 52-26. And I know my math. That's called doubling up. Naked Turtle doubling up Boyer's custom builders. Bowden. Velasquez inside to Perry. Batted around. Good hands by Eric Dubé. Knocks it around. Velasquez reclaims it. Fuller. Edmondson. 
Naked Turtle gets back, three on three, and off the base of the rim. Chris Boyer gets it to Misik. Oh, nice pass to Eric Dubé, missed the shot. Now Perry's there for the block, and Missouri comes up with it. You had to challenge him, you had to. You're not gonna dish it out there. You had to challenge Perry, try to draw the foul. Boyer thought he got all ball. 12.51 remaining in the second half. 52 to 26. On the floor now for Boyers, it's Tagliarino, Boyer, Lucy, Edmondson, and Sarah Bushy who just entered. Naked Turtle played against sports with Missouri, Perry, Bowden, Fuller, and Velasquez. Bowden it's one of two. Lucy. Relax, same, same. Relax, Ryan, relax. Tag Reno gets it. They worked it, they were patient, and they came up with the two points. 53-28. Naked Turtle played against sports. Jumped out to a 16-3 lead and haven't looked back. Who hit that one? Huh? Missouri, a two-pointer? Yep. 55-28. Not sure if we got it on camera on that break down the floor. Lucy grabbed the back of Missouri's uh, jersey, kind of pulled him back to try to slow him down. Perry from the corner. Edmondson for Boyers up the floor quickly and intercepted by Randy Bowen. All alone is Fuller. And Perry with the follow. Tagliarino gets by Perry and nice one. Nick Tagliarino, seven points since his arrival at halftime. 57 to 30. Good defense. Bushy on Fuller. He drops it for Missouri. Up top to Velasquez. Pops the three. Edmondson in traffic comes up with the rebound. He runs the floor. Tagliarino, nice one. Tagliarino with nine. And timeout called by Naked Turtle Play It Again Sports with 10.23 remaining in the second half. It's Naked Turtle Play It Again Sports 57 and Boyers Custom Builders 32. Naked Turtle Play It Again Sports led by Charles Perry with 18, Gavin Missouri with 16. Casey re-enters the game and hits a quick two, 59 to 32. Boyer's Custom Builders led by Tagliarino's nine second half points. And Edmondson has seven and Dubé with 10. I meant nine for Eric Dubé. Bowden. He has eight. The timeout helped Naked Turtle come off the floor to score some quick ones. And they want to break it. Oh, the nice dish for Perry. Perry with this 20th point. 
the handle, Fuller with the steal, down the floor to Perry, left no doubt about that one. Perry's leaving us with a lot of footage for our highlight tape, I'll tell you that. Casey on the inside, nice passing, great ball movement by Naked Turtle. Tagliarino, three point range, didn't reach the basket. Good save, McCaslin. Lucy couldn't quite save it. Oops. He's got to read that book. <laughs> Eight fifteen remaining. Oh, go, 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 go. Boyers, Taglarino all alone for the putback. Sixty seven to thirty four. Bowden guarded by Lucy. Bowden worked all the way and traveled. Good defense. Well, you don't like to see that. He threw the ball here. He kind of rolled the ball up to the other end of the court. And you don't like to see that. I don't mind saying that. Especially when you're ahead by 33, it's okay if you travel once. Down the floor, Casey wanted it too far. Oh boy, that's a big fellow to go crashing through there. They may have to reconstruct under the basket. I know this guy could play for the Plattsburgh North Stars. I know he could. Put him on that offensive line. Pratt, Pratt, jump shot, rolls the rim, and it's Fuller with the rebound. That way, Sarah. Go reach, go reach now. Missouri fouled. That one's on Aaron Pratt. 6.55 remaining. 30-point lead at halftime. We are at a 33-point difference at this point. Missouri with his 17th point. Got the move. 68-34, back to the double up. Another substitution. Let's see, who's on the floor now for Naked Turtle Play Against Sports? It's Velasquez, Bowden, Perry, Casey, and Fuller. They are the undefeated team in the league, and it looks like they're going to wrap up a, an undefeated season at 10-0. This is the final game of the regular season. Playoffs follow. Credit uh, Boyer's Custom Builders. They've continued to hustle and they run, they're still running the floor. A long one, way off the mark by Fuller. Wanted the three, signaled the three, smiles about the three. <laughs> Maybe a little embarrassed about the three. <laughs> Taking some kidding about the three. Didn't get the three. He's rubbing his eyes. And Edmondson 
pretty play. I think Fuller just told Bowden try one of those threes. <laughs> Bowden crashes. Nice defense there. Pratt and Misik teamed up for the defense there. Nice dish. The give and go. The old give and go. Misik to Eric Dubé to Misik. They pick up the two and draw the foul. Six of 12 from the foul line in this ball game. Five forty-two remaining. Fuller. Wonder if he'll try that side. Nope. Bounces it in for Bowden. He traveled. Good defense. Hey, hey, hey. Edmondson, smile on his face. He's having a good time. Loves to play basketball, you can tell. Here's a guy who loves to play basketball. Dishes out for Bushy. Thank Adam Niles, who's been helping us with play-by-play -play for some of the Peabody Summer Basketball League games. Adam Niles, student at St. Michael's during the school year and home for the summer. And we recruited him. Pratt with the two-pointer. She's in the book, and it's 69 to 40. Casey, foul line. Rebound Fuller. Guarded by Sarah Bushy. Three point range. Fuller hits it. He got all of that one. Fuller with 10 in the ball game. <laughs> and some good natured ribbing going on. And this is what you like. Fuller with the rejection on the Misik shot. Pratt to Eric Dubé. Leave the, the bench wanted her to shoot that one. Oh, Bowden on Pratt. Good trick. We caught Pratt grabbing the back of uh, Perry's jersey. Perry got his two. Despite that, he has ten in the second half. Twenty-eight in the ball game. Three by Edmondson. And I have 74 to 43. Let's see if we agree with the official table. Yes, we do. 74 to 43. Three and a half minutes remaining. Velasquez, three point range. Casey rebound. Oh, Edmondson knocked the rebound out of Pratt's hand. Three-point range, Missouri. Casey, big rebound. Fuller, a deep three, won't go. Boyer for custom builders. Edmondson, nice one. Pretty play, Edmondson. We'll check his points in a sec. Ten in the second half, fourteen in the ball game. Casey, the turnaround won't go. Missouri knocked it into the wall. It'll be Boyer's custom builder's ball. Yep. At the 240 mark. 
Misik, that one high off the rim. Off the floor we go, Bowden. I had too far ahead for Velasquez. Has to remember he's coming back from an ankle injury and he's not as fast as he usually is. 222 on the clock. Naked Turtle play it against sports. We'll go undefeated in the 98th Peabody Summer Basketball League in regular season play at 10 and 0. Boyers Custom Builders will finish at four and six. Oh, nice one. Edmondson, Casey with the block. Edmondson decides I'll take the three and hits it. So Casey did him a favor. Edmondson ends up with 17 or has 17 now. He's good for a few more before we end. 74, 48. 140 remaining. Missouri in and out on the three. Edmondson with the rebound. Edmondson would be on my all-star team. Knocked around. Fuller dishes it for Bowden. Casey, is he going for the jam? Nope. A pass. He decided to pass it to Missouri. Nice pass off the glass to Gavin Missouri. 76-48. Casey with 10 in the game. Oh, Missouri, I lost track. I guess with uh, 21. Just a minute, four remaining. <laughs> we want to thank Eric Gagnon for his work on camera. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. Words of wisdom from the videographer. A rare case there. <laughs> what the wisdom part? <laughs> You got me on that one. I forgot to say, we're fresh back. We got a lot of comedy on our minds. We're fresh back from a night at Caroline's Comedy Club, and we spent the day rubbing elbows with Kramer in New York City. We rubbed elbows with Kenny Kramer, the uh, character that the Seinfeld Kramer is based on, and had a great time. Missouri, 25 seconds remaining. The teams have played even at uh, the, in the second half. Fuller there, he has a dozen. Boyer gets it back. He went up for the jam at the buzzer. Whoops. Hit the rings. They forgot to rack up the last two points, but it's 80 to 50. It's 80 to 50. We played even in the second half. Tagliarino to end the ball game. Thanks again to Eric Gagnon on camera. Even with the words of wisdom. And I want to thank Tom Lacey and uh, Neil Fassett for inviting us for the Peabody Summer Basketball League. The final score in this one. Naked Turtle played again, Sports 80, Boyers, Custom Builders, 50. This is Foxy Gagnon on behalf of everyone at North Country Cable Network saying uh, good night, North Country. Hello, North Country, and welcome to the City of Plattsburgh's 1998 Fourth of July Parade. I'm Foxy Gagnon along with Laura Gagnon on camera. And as always, we're excited to be here. We're right at the beginning of the parade on Cornelia Street, the intersection of Cornelia and Draper. This is our favorite spot each year. The lead patrol vehicle, city police officer, Pete Williams, followed by the color guard. Nell Sheehy, the director of the parade, the parade organizer. We assume this is post-20, American Legion post-20. Recognize Art Maggie, of course. One of the real 
past uh, commander, past uh, vice commander, it looks like, and the auxiliary. American Legion Post 20 Junior Auxiliary follows. And the 4th of July parade is underway. The theme of this year's parade, of course, uh, neighbors helping neighbors and uh, how the North Country all chips in when the uh, when there's a crisis, and there's certainly a few of them. It's been an awful uh, interesting 1998 year thus far with the ice storm, and then, of course, uh, the recent floods. The Grand Marshals, Bob Perkins and Lori Rothman. There we see Lori Rothman, WPTZ Channel 5. And uh, she's the morning news anchor and the noon news anchor at Channel 5. And followed by the famous Channel 5 Peacock. And the news Channel 5 vehicle. The American Red Cross follows. Of course, what would be a parade without candy? And uh, the parade has just begun, and the youngsters getting candy along the route. And oh, they're giving out lots of candy here right at this intersection. And our buddy uh, Matthew runs over and picks up some of that candy. We'll get a shot of him before it's over. Edison Repertory Theater. Wow, look at this, the stilt walkers, and oh my goodness, how do they do that? Oh my goodness. Now this is very interesting. This is a new touch to the parade. The stilt walkers, look at that. Oh, there's a nice wave for our camera. Laura had to adjust the camera to get way up there for that one. How do they do that? Oh my goodness. Amazing. Now, Geraldine Ferraro, there she is, the Democratic candidate for the U.S. Senate, New York State, Geraldine Ferraro for Senate 98. And her contingent is Democratic candidate, Michael O'Connell.